everyone and welcome to my very first video for the Renee Bouquet's YouTube channel. I'm Renee Harrison and today I would like to do something that a lot of my followers have been asking me to do and that is to do a walkthrough through a mini album that I created. If you look over here, I have a little sewing theme mini album that I put together as a design team member for the Scraps of Darkness Kit Club using the August kit weathered and worn and products from my ReneeBouquets.com and Renee Bouquets Etsy shops. Now let's take a look at how I put together the cover. I took a little chipboard mini album and then I layered on pieces of the kit paper that I heavily distressed the edges on to get that worn look that I love. And here, I took a little plastic iPhone case, and what I did is I took some Dino Wakeling Media Gesso from my shops, and I put that onto my fingertip and then just finger painted the inside to get that soft white look that you see. I then layered in a, some pa kit paper, some little buttons from a yard sale. I then added cheese cloth and burlap to get lots of texture. Next, I added some little Prima resin pieces from a past kit, and all the little metal pieces that you see, like the little scissors, the bobbin, and the handmade tag, come in Renee Bouquet's trinket packs, and you can find those in my shops. The little trinket packs come in these little packages all packed together so you can keep them safely and so that they ship safely. There's the little scissors, the two bobbins, the handmade tag, and the little clothes hanger. On the bottom half of my mini album, I added some flowers from the kit, some shabby dream trim from my shops. Here you see a little hand dyed seam binding bow that's topped with a princess rhinestone button that you can also find in my shop. For the D-rings, I like to add a lot of texture and what I did is I took pieces of burlap, cheesecloth, and dyed seam binding and trim from the kit and just tied those on. Here you see a little key that you can find in the Rene Bouquet's Keys Trinket Packet. And then to finish my album off, I just popped on a couple of my tiny treasures, oh so shabby chic butterflies. Anytime you buy a handcrafted product from my store like these butterflies, what you get is my signature chunky style. You'll see lots of texture and lots of sparkle and they just kind of add that special touch to any project. For the inside pages, what I did is I just took more of that kit paper and distressed the edges on it and then added in another piece of uh, paper that I cut down to size for a photo spot. This is just a little flower from the kit, some trim from the kit, and here I'm Fussy cut out a little piece, a little tag piece from the papers and made a little journaling spot that you can put little small photos onto. This is with the little clothes hanger that comes in that sewing trinkets package from my shop. This page here is actually one of the Melissa Francis envelopes from the kit. I took it and I just punched it to make a place for the D-rings and then I added a journaling spot a little Prima flare button from a past kit, and this little canvas tag was in the kit, and I just added a little butterfly rub on. Inside the envelope, I put in these Tim Holtz Curio cabinet cards, which are just perfect for sliding photos down into. For the next pages, on the back side of the envelope, I just made another journaling spot, added on another kit flower. The little scissors here are some more trinkets that are from the Rene Bouquet's shops. And uh, this one is actually in the vintage trinket pack. Here I added on another journaling spot, a little spool, a spool of thread that I put some hand dyed seam binding around. This is some more of that shabby dream trim that's in the shop. A Prima resin piece. And then there was this rope that was in the kit that I used for a layout and I had this piece left over so I just kind of ran it down the side for extra texture. Okay, and then for these next pages, on this one I created a pocket by cutting down some canvas. And then I added on some more crochet trim that you can find in my shops. This is the crochet trim number one. And then I added on a little button some more of the little fussy cut pieces from the paper that I just kind of tacked on with a Tim Holtz little metal clip and a little paper clip. Then it has these tags that I cut from the paper. 
And those I just distressed the edges on and then used some of the Tim Holtz little mini distress inks. I used the vintage photo from that and just kind of gave the edges a nice warm photo look. For this page, I added another journaling spot, some little pearls that I just kind of twined around, and this is a little flower from the kit. This page is actually one of those pockets as well, and as you can see, I just slid another one of the Tim Holtz Curio cards down in there. Just a nice place to put some more photos. And for the last two pages, I just took and added some spots to add photos, some leftover little pieces of trim that I had tucked away, and then another flare button. Here's a nice little cutout tag that I created that you can journal on. And then this is another one of those pockets that I created by just taking a piece of the paper, layering it over with some burlap and some trim from the kit, and then added in a couple of more of those nice little tags that I cut from the paper. And then on the back side, let me get that so it close. I just took some of the paper and cut it so that you got this nice uh, rose pattern that matches the album and added that on. And that's a look at my little mini album. I hope you have enjoyed walking through it with me and that maybe you've learned something and hopefully I've learned some things and I'll get better at doing the videos. But um, if you like this, please subscribe and like the page and I don't know, I'm finished. <laughs>